so I wanted to make a quick video about one of my favorite things ever. Fabric! Yes, I'm excited enough for jazz hands. I do really love fabric and fibers and all the fabric science and all that nerdy fabric stuff. Fabric, why is it important? It's important to choose the right fabric because what if you make something that is itchy or uncomfortable or you could end up with a garment that's actually just totally unwearable. So that's why you need to carefully consider your fabric before you start designing. So here is a list of three things that I think are super important when you are picking out your fabrics for a collection. One, what is the end use? Okay, so there's a reason why there's not a lot of people out there making body con dresses out of cotton broadcloth. For one, that would be a feat of physics to get a human body into that dress. Also, that fabric would probably shrink when you washed it, and the last thing we need is for that dress to be any tighter. Really think about how is the customer going to wear this, and how does the fabric fit into your design. So that leads me into my next point. Two, care instructions. How do I wash this thing? Well, we all have that one dress that's hanging on the back of the chair in our bedroom, wherever, uh, aka the sleep paralysis monster that has been sitting there for weeks in a pile and you need to take it to the dry cleaners but you have not taken it to the dry cleaners. It's gonna probably be there for a while. Don't feel bad. Mine's been there for a while. That's something that you probably should have thought about though when you were making a garment. So will the customer be able to pop this in the washer and dryer at home or will they have to hand wash it? Will they have to take it to a dry cleaner? You know I'm not necessarily saying that one is better or worse than the other but just something that you do actually need to think about. Number three, fabric properties. I've actually touched on this like a tiny bit already, but think about the qualities that each type or blend of fabric has. A lot of them have pros and cons. And for example, I love working with cotton because it's breathable, but there's some negatives to cotton. For example, it shrinks and it has very poor abrasion resistance. So sometimes if you have like a cotton dress or something and you've noticed I call it like a peach fuzz. It looks a little hazy. It's fading. That's poor abrasion resistance. Um, polyester isn't breathable, but you can definitely just like pop it in the washer and dryer without any shrinking and without having it fade. Wool is really nice and warm, but some people are actually allergic to it. And different blends of fibers will take on different combinations of qualities. I think it's important to test the fabrics and maybe pre-wash and walk yourself through the care instructions before you actually go through the trouble of making the garment. So also I wanna say if you're purchasing online, um, for I don't know if some of you may not know this, if you're purchasing online, when you select the fabric in the description, there should be care instructions that you should look out for. If you're actually purchasing in person, I'll show you guys here. Um, I have a bolt that I wholesale if you can see it, usually where the price is at the store, you'll see care instructions right there. So the same care instructions for your fabric will be the same care instructions for your garment. So if you do sell it, you are going to want to let your customer know what those care instructions are so they know how to properly care for the garment. Also, I get asked a lot where I purchase my fabric from. Um, so I have several big old books here of wholesale fabric. I usually purchase wholesale from a lot of the textile shows and I'll post a link down below from the one that I usually go to the most like LA is the closest market to me so that's usually where I shop. You should actually check if you're going to go the wholesale route you do need to make sure to ask what people's fabric minimums are so that you know if you can actually afford to purchase from them. Uh, sometimes buying a large stock of fabric you know Per yardage, if you wholesale it, it, might be a good deal for you, but if you don't plan on selling a thousand dresses, that's maybe not a good choice for you. Maybe just finding some place where you can buy uh, per yard online might be a better option for you. Also, if you don't have wholesaling in mind, I mean, I mention wholesale a lot because that's kind of like what I do, but if you don't have wholesaling on the brain, um, there's no shame in going to like Joann's or Walmart if you are... Um, starting off small. One last thing I want to share with you guys before I leave you is a workbook and a book. These I really like. Um, so funny thing, when I was doing my associate's degree, we used these books. And then years later, when I went on to do my BFA, um, they were using basically a later edition of the same book. So this book is still pretty relevant. 
this is an older edition, but it, it comes in, the information is in this book. And then this one is actually, I'll show you guys, it's swatches of different fabrics. And then you fill in, you go in and you fill in the descriptions yourself. But I think this is really good when you're designing because you can go through and say, you know, I'm not really sure what I'm looking for, but I want it to have these qualities. And this is a great way to actually go through and kind of like shop at home. So I would definitely recommend this. And I'm going to go ahead and post the link down below to this too, so you guys know where you can purchase it. So I'm actually super curious and I would love to hear from you guys. When you go shopping, do you check the care and content label in your clothes? And if you do, does that actually affect your purchase at all? Yeah, please go ahead and comment down below and let me know what you think about that. Also, I want to thank everybody for liking and subscribing and all the super sweet comments. Every time I see one, it gives me a warm, fuzzy feeling. So I just want to thank you guys for that. Please let me know if there's anything that you want to hear from me next. Otherwise, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.